Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy and this is my little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And today is November 4th, 2022. And this is a very precedented weekend coming up. This is Daylight Savings Weekend, obviously, but if Congress passes the bill and the whole Sunshine Projection Act and all that crazy ass crap that they don't usually pay attention to, unless it's really interesting like it is right now, this could very well be the last Daylight Savings. Think about that. The last one. The last time we can fall back and get an extra hour of sleep during the winter time. Well, the, the last pre-winter extra hour. An institution will be bygone. That's right, this could potentially be the last time we turn the clocks back, or just the clocks for daylight saving. It's interesting because I was questioning how this is going to affect the atomic clock. And of course the atomic clock doesn't change for daylight savings. The clocks in the country do. Some automatically change, such as cell phones and computers. It would stop doing that. It would be a very interesting thing. As early as 1955, researchers began to develop atomic clocks which relied on the unchanging laws of physics to establish a new foundation for timekeeping. It's an interesting thought to think about that because there's only been one second differentiation mistake in the calculated hundred million years of an atomic clock. So this could very well, it was going to disrupt that no matter how we look at it because the clocks are going to be, are affected by the atomic clock and are updated electronically. And the rest of the clocks are always adjusted manually. So this is very, very interesting. The concept of time in Einstein's relativity, you know, time is relative. Like any other factor that can be measured, any other dimension, height, weight, weight, left, right, up, down, X, Y, the dimensions, first, second, third, and fourth dimension time can all be measured and regulated and actually are have varying lengths due to relativity. Time is relative most of all. Most of you are probably like feeling like time is going really slow listening to this rant. But it's my show. When I'm, my, my mind is, like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that the atomic clock has always been designed to calculate and make it exact measurable 24 hours a day. But of course the Earth's rotation around the sun isn't exactly 24 hours a day. It varies from day to day. And the average goes down to as much as 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.019 seconds, 91 seconds, I'm sorry. Don't ask how I know that stuff. I, it's some stupid fact that always just gets stuck in my head. Yes, this is actually kind of precedent. This could very well be the last daylight savings. And they say the major affecting difference is going to be the hours in the morning. Some doctors are going to say it's going to decrease depression. You won't be going into work in the dark and coming home in the dark. You'll be going to work in the light and then coming home in the dark. So I don't really see how that's that much of a difference. It would be better if the daylight was in the afternoon. If they could do that, that would be excellent. But I don't think it's something we can actually variable adjust. Or could we make vacation days longer? Hmm. Because the automatic preset of the atomic clock would be interesting. Interesting. We'll have to get on this. How many decorations have fallen down? This is the time of year. Halloween is over, and I don't know, this time of year is kind of neat. And we're coming into the first weekend, this being Friday. This is the first weekend I don't have anything majorly planned as opposed to like Halloween constructions since early September. So this time of year is always kind of both fun and <sighs> sometimes if I can't find a creative project to attach myself to, which I do have one, but I'm having trouble attaching myself to right now, I get kind of antsy. I feel like I've been impressing the world for so long that I think it's time the world start to try to impress me. So world, impress me. So I have an hour or so to kick around waste here, so I'm gonna go shopping and see if I can find something to impress me. 
Okay, I'm at the major hub bub of consumerism here. Yes. I'm gonna go do a little, maybe a retail therapy, as they like to call it. See if I can find something interesting. And if nothing else, is find a, a brick charger battery for this camera that's about to die. So I don't actually have to go back to the house before I go onward. That's my life right now. But I'll hopefully be seeing Drew tonight. The next episode may have Drew in it, we'll see. Okay, I'm getting out of the car. I just found a nickel on the ground. So I'm five cents in profit right now. That's a little bit impressive there, world. Good job. I didn't find anything too future inspiring. At the store I was able to purchase this because this is dying out and I didn't want to go back to the house. I'm hoping that this has some kind of kick to it because the charge is cords right on this camera and my, my battery is kind of dying. I got through the first layer of Fort Knox here. And you've got 70%. Cool. Good tune. I'm at the mall. I am going into this further endeavor of having a life. Entertain me for a change. I'm going to try to get the most out of life here. I'm going to go to the mall here and see if I can find a new pair of noise canceling ear protection because the ones I have broke. Yeah, I need them to like put myself in my sensory deprivation state of mind when I nap or sleep at night. I went to the mall to, I can't remember the name of the store, but it's on the other end of the mall. I'll let you know when I get back. I didn't find any noise canceling headgear or anything like that, but I did find something a little life affirming. I'll show you when I get to the car. I got three of them because one for me, one for Ken, and one for Drew because these things are just too cool to not have one. Let's hope I can get one of these out of here and I can show what the hell it is. Oh, that's dope. And it's metal too. Check it out. Here it is. It's a keychain of the bat symbol. It's a multi tool, it's a bottle opener which won't probably won't use too much unless you get a root beer or something. But it's a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, dude, seriously, I mean, how boss is that? Dude, I was able to get the price off them. Give them to us as a gift. It's something every utility belt should have. All right, well here's, I got a little self-assuring something from life today. Just got an email from, for the Diabolical Film Festival. Their Snow Escape has been nominated for Best Special Effects. Now, I'm not sure which movie they watched, but they said they watched it, so. They saw something in it. There it is. It is official. Can't be taken away from us. Another win for the AM Creature Shop for our giant killer snowman. Good job, Cliff. This episode it seems to have turned into a pre-holiday browsing kind of thing. Self-reassuring life. It was working for today. Okay, I'm at the next compartmentalized existence of corporate consumerism. Target or Target. Sorry, Jake. Target. It'll always be Target, Jake. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in there. I don't know what I'm going here for. Just to browse around. I have a little bit of time to kill, so I'm going to do some more pre holiday browsing. There was nothing of interest at Target, so I'm moving on to Bed Bath and Beyond to maybe find one of those remotes in the Beyond section. Traffic, traffic. No more traffic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, they didn't have any remotes in the Beyond section. Just trying to find some ideas, maybe for some holiday shopping. I know I said the H word, but it is coming. So what can I say? I'm almost fully ready to embrace it. I just, I'm still enjoying that pocket of after Halloween and before the crazy bad weather and bad attitudes set in. I'm looking for the car, I'm walking straight towards it. Over there. Shoppers Drug Mart makes gift giving so easy and convenient, Santa can take a little vacation this holiday season. Dollars or more on Shoppers Cosmetics Club products. Um, I guess right now, that's all I have time for in this episode of Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy, so just chill. <laughs>